a thousand kilometers away from the heart of Ethiopia and just 25 kilometers away from the Sudanese border lies the means of Ethiopian pride in the making, the Grand Renaissance Dam. The construction is indeed serious and super massive. Invited by the government of Addis Ababa, representatives of the international media houses traveled to observe the actual work. This is the construction site of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. Now, the plan of construction is to connect the mountain I'm in to the other side, and in the middle, there you have it, the Ethiopian Grand Renaissance Dam. And here is the raw factor between Ethiopia and Egypt, the site where the Nile water was diverted for the construction convenience of the dam. All members of the international media houses witnessed how the water flow to the downstream countries was not affected. Uh, you are witnessing now. Um, we are not really uh, redirecting the flow of, uh, or diverting the flow of uh, uh, the Blue Nile in another direction. Uh, we are not reducing uh, the, the volume of uh, water flow. The humongous hydroelectric generating dam project of Ethiopia is being executed by two contractors. Salini Construction of Italia is handling civil works of the dam, while the local Ethiopian Metal Engineering Corporation is handling the hydro engineering works. For our company, this is the most prestigious and important project we have now. And for us, it's the top priority to have uh, the best performance possible because we understand uh, how important is the project for the Ethiopian government and for all the people. With 1,700 square kilometers of reservoir anticipated to be filled in six years' time to produce the 6,000 megawatts of electricity, the Ethiopian dam indeed has a long way to go. 2017 will be the deadline for the project to be completed. The waters of the Abe River, which is coming from the Ethiopian highlands and flowing to the downstream countries, is said to contribute more than 85% of the Blue Nile River. Now, most of the downstream countries want to utilize this water for their developmental activities. Ethiopia, of course, being the front runner country. Grumjala, CCTV, Guba, Western Ethiopia.